Hey Roaches, what's up? It's Blubber here. Before we hop into this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. But today, we are in a slightly different version of Greenville. Now, if you want to look around, this does not look like the current version of Greenville. Now, for anyone who's been kind of in the Greenville community for a while, you'll instantly know that this is GV3. And in my opinion, this is the best version of Greenville. So yeah, let's hop right into the video. Also, if you guys like the merch, let me know, because this is releasing very soon. So let me know if you want the Capybara Roach merch. Um, yeah, if you guys really want it to release, I'll release it sooner than later. But anyways, so we are in GV3 here. So this is hands down my favorite version of Greenville. Now, l l let me just give you a brief summary as to why before I actually showcase why. First of all, the roads are beautiful and like this really like dark color looks really cool. The dealership, it's so homey. Like, the, like this is this is what I remember Green Wolf for. That's like this is all my nostalgia lens. And honestly, during GV3 was like the prime GVRP era. And also, like the cars in this version of Green Wolf are like so unique. Like the cars are so wild. And we had this ultimate sleeper machine. But yeah, let's go test some cars out. But before we do that, let me showcase the dealership. Okay, so I am running inside the dealership right now. And yeah, you you just run in, and it was very simple. So you hear all the coupes. Looks very cool. They had, they had a lot of interesting cars, a lot of really like unique ones, like this Kia Forte Coupe. Like you would never see that in the new version of Greenville. Hatchbacks, a bunch of like cool unique cars as well, and it, it's just really cool in my opinion. Like I don't know. Like obviously this has a lot less cars than the current version of Greenville, but like the cars were a lot more unique. Like a Porsche Panamera, like this thing's so sick. And like minivans, it, it's about the same amount of minivans. Something too crazy, but they have like the best minivan of all time, the 2013 Toyota Sienna. SUVs. They had a lot of SUVs in this as well. A lot of Jeeps, blah, blah, blah. Um, what's something that's not in the current version of Greenville? Let me look here. I'm trying to like think. Uh, 2017 HRV. No, we have the newer HRV. What am I thinking? A 1997 Saturn Tracker. Like, look, like this would never be in the current version of Greenville. It's so cool. And yeah, sedans. They had a lot of sedans as well. Like, look at all those sedans. I'm not going to go through any of those sedans. But they also have like these cars, like the Apex cars, which is kind of cool. Good amount of trucks and there are a good amount of other vehicles. Uh yeah, golf cart, lawnmower, blah blah blah. Um, scary van. But here, let's let's test out some of my favorite cars and let's head right out on the road. Okay, so what car is better to start off with than the 2013 Toyota Sienna? Now this thing's an absolute sleep. Like look at this thing, like look. Look at this thing just go. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, this is the map. It's a it's a lot smaller. Over there, there's like a drag strip, there's no like Best Buy or anything. Here is Toys for Trucks. Used to be called, yeah, Toys for Trucks. It's now known as Truck Planet. Kind of funny. There used to be roads along this road right next to like the Fox Mountain Bank area. So cool. And like, look how fast this minivan goes 161 miles per hour. Absolutely crazy. And for anyone wondering where Six Houses got, it, got its name, there's also houses right there. This is why it used to be called Six Houses. So there are six houses here. And then there was like one extra house, but like before, like there were only six. This is like some admin house or something. But yeah, this is this is why six houses used to be called six houses. There were six houses here, and this is like the prime, I mean like the prime roleplay area for any type of server at the time. Absolutely crazy, and I don't, I just like the vibe from this version of Greenville. It, it just hits so right in so many different spots, and like the roads were like, I, I don't know. I'm from like the Pacific Northwest, so it's not like uncommon for us like have like these darker roads mainly because we got to repave our roads like every other year because of you know after like it's sun snowing and stuff they got to repair the roads yeah it's just absolutely crazy then there's like the current greenville high school over here now in our earlier version of this of gv3 there was the middle school which looked a lot lot better but hey uh there's the high school which is kind of cool so yeah it used to be over here it was not over there like it is now. I don't know. I just find this version way cooler, but let's hop into some other cars. All right, so we have this Mercedes here, and they need to add this thing in the current version of Greenville. This is such a nice looking car, and I think it would actually kind of fit the GV4 vibe. But this is how small Senex used to be. Like, look how tiny this area is. It, it's absolutely tiny compared to the current version. And no, there was no daycare, but there was this really cool... Here, I'll take you guys over there real quick. There was like this super, super cool national park thing. It's actually not national. It's like a tiny park area. But I was so disappointed when this was removed from the revamp because this is not added too long before the revamp. Like I think it was like six months or something. I don't even know if it was six months. But I always thought this park was so cool. And I was kind of disappointed when it wasn't there on revamp day. But yeah, it's just really cool. Then if like we go down here, obviously like the road ends like just right there. It ends. The houses all look super different. The houses look a lot nicer now, by the way, guys. You guys really lucked out these new houses if you're newer to the game. Because this, this is what we used to have to deal with. Look at these things. 
Oh yeah, and Joe's used to be right here, which I honestly think that's like such a good location for Joe's. I'm kind of sad that they moved it, but here, this is like, this is what houses used to look like in Greenville. And so obviously like they, they look okay, but they are nowhere near as good as they are now. Kind of crazy. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's go try out a different car real quick. I decided getting this. I think this is like a Suzuki SX4 XX5. And like, I don't know, this kind of like solidifies the point, like there were like a lot of really quirky cars during this time. And I really, you know, in my opinion, I think that that's sort of like really set apart this version of Greenville from other parts. Like obviously like a lot of, you know, you really only like GV1 and GV2 if you were part of it. I joined during, sometime during GV2, whenever like that Audi wagon was around. But yeah, like GV3, like this was like the game I played the most and it's the most nostalgic to me. I, I just find it absolutely crazy and you know, it's always gonna be like one of those games like no matter like what people say about gv3 it's always gonna be like the one version that i will i will go to the grave saying it's the best version of greenville because in my honest opinion i think it is and then here's like an older eclipse oh my god um uh oh L let's just let's just spawn it back in hopefully it'll be okay this time but also, like, this is another car they need in the current version of Greenville as well. Also, yeah, your feet did not disappear. They, you know, they were stuck there. I'm sorry. They, they were stuck there. There's also that one... You can, you can still find that house in the current version of Greenville. There's, like, one of them somewhere hidden in, like, the suburbia area. Like, look at the details, like, to this car. Like, the carbon fiber lights. Look at that, like, um... Jeez, I'm trying to think. The, the gas thingy thingy i literally drive a car how do i not know the gas tank there we go and like the headlights like being kind of like 3d it's, it's just so cool and the like the amount of detail that went into this version of greenville was you know i really underappreciated then there's like the old Mc mcdonald's right there yet there was always a car wash there by the way too actually no that used to be a paint shop but then they later turned it into a car wash there's like a cool neighborhood over there and i'll take us back there in a moment here but i want to show you what's at the end of this road because it's not an airport it's not best buy there is, though, a Burger King right over here. And is it the laundromat still? A 99%? It's still the laundromat, right? Wait, Anderson Cleaners. Yeah, I think so. But it was not enterable. But yeah, the Burger King was right here. Very, very basic, but kind of like the same layout. And then we used to have this crazy drag strip right here, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. So here, let's pull back out my Mercedes. And what we'll do is I'll, I'll show you here. So. This was so cool because I remember like at the end of the session and like during GV3, if you were in a roleplay server, you would come down here and you like race and stuff. It was so cool. So here, if I go in manual. So here, let's just race real quick. And yeah, you would like race down this. It was so cool. Like it, obviously it's very anticlimactic now, but like it was so cool at the time. I, just, I don't know. It, it's just, such a cool memory. But yeah, and then you would race down here and, you know, you would just kind of fall off the edge or you would hope that you wouldn't crash. Oh yeah, there was an invisible wall. I, I don't know if there was always an invisible wall though. But anyways, let's go back to the neighborhood I was talking about. Oh, so as I'm like getting out of this one here, the car models were kind of inconsistent, honestly. Like a lot of them, like, I don't know, they didn't blend as well as the current version of Greenville because all that the current version of Greenville, all the cars looked like they are like done exactly the same. Youth here was kind of just like a bunch of thrown in stuff, but it, it worked, it did work. That building is still in the current version of Greenville, which I find kind of funny. Yeah, the, yeah, there was like a cool neighborhood right there. If you guys have been watching my channel since like day one, I used to like do a bunch of car reviews starting from over there. Anyways, the visitor place used to actually have an interior, which is so, so cool. So we hop in here. Yeah, it, it's nothing much. I always thought it was like such a cool thing. And yeah, there's like a tiny kitchen. But anyways, let's, let's get on with the outro. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And also, if you like this uh, kind of tease of like the Capybara Roach merch, let me know down in the comments because I am down to drop this very, very soon. I was planning on keeping this until like the very end of Pride Month or maybe even into like July, but I'm kind of tempted low-key to drop it soon if you guys want that. So yeah, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.